Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In normal times, most people can't even name the Postmaster General, the individual tasked with running the U.S. Postal Service. But since his appointment to the position in June 2020 during the Trump era, Louis DeJoy has caused controversy with his proposals to raise prices, cut funding, and reduce hours. Uh, DeJoy announced a number of mail service changes that took effect in March, so the DeJoy Act would require mail service to abide by the same mail service policies that were in effect on January 1st, preventing any of those March and later service changes from going into effect. The bill's acronym, the DeJoy Act, stands for the Delivering Envelopes Judiciously On Time Year Round Act. It was introduced, the House version was introduced by uh, Illinois Democratic Representative Raja Krishnamurthy, while the Senate version was introduced by New Mexico Democratic Senator Martin Heinrich. Now, the legislation would still allow non-service related mail changes uh, to go into effect, uh, such as stamp costs rising from 55 to 58 cents in August. Now, supporters argue the legislation would preserve the quality of mail service Americans have come to know and love. A 2020 Pew Research Center survey found the USPS was Americans' favorite federal agency at 91% support. Opponents countered that the mail service changes may be unpopular, but they're necessary to ensure solvency, especially considering declining mail volume in the internet era. DeJoy laid out his arguments on this point in congressional testimony a few months ago. Well, if you want more information about this legislation, I'll be sending uh, further info in this packet. Uh, I'm mailing it this afternoon, and you should receive it uh, sometime next year.